Hi there, Steve. Thank you for taking the time out of your day to, to answer these questions for our case study series. No worries. I'll start with the questions. Why do you think employing young people is important to the local economy? Um, well, certainly I think, it's, firstly, it's important to keep the young people in Cornwall. Yeah. Um, obviously, they're going to grow up with a certain skill set. And I think you know, for local businesses like myself, um, you know, keeping that skill set in Cornwall yeah. and not going to maybe some of the cities further up the country is really important. Mm. And they're obviously going to forge the, the future economy of the county. Uh, so I think, yeah, really important. Okay, that's a great answer. What's your opinion on apprenticeships? Uh, I think apprenticeships are brilliant. Uh, I think it's very difficult if you've gone through, be it college, university, uh, to then actually be given an opportunity in a workplace seems to be yep. becoming more and more challenging. Uh, whereas I think if you're able to do an apprenticeship and actually train uh, in the thick of it uh, and face it full on, I think you learn a lot more. Um, I think as a employer, that's something we would certainly look to uh, if someone's done an apprenticeship over someone who has maybe just studied yep. uh, and further education. So yeah, I think apprenticeships are fantastic and I think they open doors for a lot of people to make it easier for future employment. Okay, would you, if time permitted and you had more staff, would you look to consider to take an apprentice on? Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Always open to the idea. What was your first job? My first job was when I was 16 and I worked at McDonald's for a year and a half and I loved it. Learned a lot. Mm. Socially it was good fun uh, and kind of set my work ethic for future years. What, for your job role here and obviously your coaching as well, what kind of qualifications do you need in training? Um, so, above all else, we kind of strive and pride ourselves on customer service, yep. uh, which is, you know, pretty important across any any sector that deals with tourism. Mm -hmm. So that's first and foremost. Uh, then we have specific roles, so obviously we have a surf school within the business, so you need certain qualifications, which is a surf coaching yep. uh, and lifeguarding, so we need really important qualifications, mm. which are actually, uh, you know, qualifications that you can also become a lifeguard with yep. down line, so they stretch just beyond the role of surf coach, mm. which is good. Um, personally, I also study uh, university sports coaching, yep. psychology, which is important and kind of gave me the basis of skills for that particular role. Mm. Regarding the business side of it, a lot of it I've just kind of learned on the role itself. Uh, so, yeah, in terms of training, that's what sort of things you need to. Okay, what have. kind of experience do you think you need in terms of being able to do your role? What kind of things have you learned along the way? Uh, I think with the, the surf coaching role, mm. particularly if you want to take a group of, whether it's kids surf, yep. surfing or adults, you certainly have to have that knowledge and understanding and awareness of what's going on in the ocean. Yep. You know, safety with what we do is absolutely paramount, mm. so above all else it is having that training is, is absolutely essential uh, and having that experience of being in the water uh, or the sea in particular and dealing with currents and tides and an understanding how the weather conditions affect surfing is, is kind of invaluable because, you know, we're not we're not doing something that's on a controlled environment like on a tennis court or mm -hmm. on a football pitch. You know, we're dealing with nature. Yeah. And then at any point, nature can kind of throw you a big curveball. Especially in Cornwall, with the weather. Absolutely. You know, we're, we're talking about people's lives. Yeah. So it's very important that we have instructors, staff that know exactly what they're doing and how to react in certain situations. Mm. What made you choose this career? A passion. Yeah. I think. Um, you know, uh, it's one of those ones where, for me personally, I didn't want to do a job where I had to see four walls, uh, yeah. the office space, that wasn't me. Uh, my passion was being out in the open, surfing, enjoying it, and using my education and background. Yeah. For me, surf coaching was first and foremost the thing I wanted to do, and then naturally over time, you know, I began to love the business side of it as well. Mm. My passion was going into that. And and how I could extend what we were already doing and, and grow and develop yep. what we were already doing. Um, so I think you've got to, you certainly got to have a passion for what you're yep. doing. Uh, that's really important. I think running a business, um, you've got to have that. Okay, just, just, just the last bonus question. What would you say to a young person between the ages of 14 to 24 who's looking to get into a job and a career? What skills and what experience have you got which you could give to the people? So what advice yeah. I would give? Uh, never give up. Yeah. Perseverance. You know, so never give up on, on something you want to do. Never just degree for second best. You know, if there's something you're passionate about and you want to do, look at every single possible avenue you can do, uh, and you will find a way. I'm a big believer in that. Um, 
to always try to do something that you enjoy if you can tie that in with something to do with personal life or hobby mm. um, you know whether you're passionate about computers whether you're passionate about gaming sport uh, whatever it may be cooking yeah you know, if you can forge a career um, be it as a employee for someone a successful business be it as a business owner yeah self-employed whatever it may be uh, then it's going to make your working life bearing in mind we've got to work for however long these days mm. you know, 50 odd years um, you know you want to be spending those 50 odd years doing something you enjoy doing yeah so, yeah never give up persevering and keep punching down what you want to do that's great thank you for your time Hi right. there Mike, thanks for taking the time out of your day to do another video for our case studies series for our new website. No problem. That's okay. I will ask